Hey everyone, I'm McDowell here with another YouTube video. And today I'm going to do a little style analysis and about discussing a certain type of the style and what it's made for and where it originally came from. So today the style analysis is going to be Pancrasian, the Greek martial arts style. Now a lot of people is actually probably have heard about it before, but I'll go in small detail. Pancrasian is basically the... the um, basically the original originary of the mar mixed martial art not before way like way before Bruce Lee it was originally a uh, Olympic sport in 1648 BC so that was way before even Christ was even born <coughs> so if you can actually see how, how old this style is there's been many styles that are over 2,000 years old maybe even a hundred almost like 10,000 years old but group but the pancreation is one of the ones that still is still alive to this mountain to this very day it's very liked by by the uh all the all the different uh, parts of the west both the all the americans and stuff like that excuse me but the problem is is that back when in in 1648 in 648 when it first was olympic art because it probably was being practiced way before then that it really originally was a very freestyle of different kind of fighting skills from karate to wrestling to jiu-jitsu you name it it basically was one of the biggest art form and very deadliest art form in in all of greece it was one that actually was taken and invented by supposedly mythology why hercules and i want to say uh Dedesis, and it was originally to help train Greek soldiers. So you can almost imagine that when both Greek and Rome were going to war, they probably learned the same style and also learned how to fight. So when they would be training, you can get killed in training. That's just how it was. It was a, like a no hold bar match. I mean, people were getting, people were getting dislocated arms, broken collarbones, and literally dislocated, dislocated, uh, 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 shoulders as well, so you gain a lot of a lot a lot of uh, um, a lot of body throws. So it basically was the dirtiest of the dirtiest, way before MMA, and that's why nowadays it's almost compared to MMA because it's so basically so violent and so basically so hard. The only problem is, of course, in, in modern day, thanks to uh, thanks to a lot of people about uh, accepting moderation. And uh, screwing masculinity, I mean, sh yeah, they have no idea. The thing is, the reason why everything's watered down so you can make sure that everyone gets safe and you know regulations and stuff like that. But back before when, Pancrasian was the godfather of all heated combat. So when you seen like say the movie Three Hundred, that was actually how they how they really was fight very brutal, very gruesome, very brunt. brunt. And, and at this very day. In Greece, I think it's still practiced on the Olympic level. So they, therefore, it's basically a still a uh, fighting sport. Of course, they probably all got padding along it like that. They're not going to have you uh, fight, uh, you know, bare knuckle and stuff like that, how they used to in, in boxing. But you know, that's kind of one thing. How about regulations? How they actually water everything down? In this case, how see you need to accept the modern times. Because it's more safer. Well, the thing, the problem is about modern times is that it's also a lot more, uh, too, a little bit too civilized because you're basically walking out of eggshells. So, Pancrasian was one of the ones that was all in your face, blunt force trauma, and all basically nothing but learning how to survive. Similar to Krav Maga, and I'll get into that. And I, I may have already have gotten into that, uh, in my certification video, so I'll get more on that later. Probably, but Pancrasian though came from ancient Greece, so you know they were all about the gods and stuff like that. How everything was all about how big the Greek gods are, Whoa! all big and nice and jacked. And it's okay to be, and it, and it's okay to actually try to be, uh, you know, jack enough to try to go out in combat. I mean, we need a lot more of that. But the thing is, is one thing is that you're looking down on people, and you see how much they're admiring you as a god. It's just this one thing. It's all about taking that. It's taking that into a positive way, to where you help others to try to achieve better, but not put them down for the way how they are in character wise. Now, in character wise, they probably got no self esteem. They got no 
encouragement. So that's why if you're going to be looked at the God, the one God is it that you should always remember is only one God on this earth, and that's the Almighty Himself. So that's why I'm taking this almost like a religious point of view. You don't, you know, the thing is, you can be built like a God and go and show that you're still able to fight and uh, defend f like freedom and uh, away from tyranny and slavery, such as like, and then what they did in Pangration, built for Greek soldiers in war. But the thing is, you need to also show some form of humanity that you're not always going to be the best. You're still, you're still basically trying to stay in shape for, for life. And that's one thing about living a legacy is also learning how to build and get through life like that. So Pancrasian, um, it was a, under, like I said, it was a very brutal, uninterrupted art. And the thing is, you can actually, like I said, you can still get killed from it, get chokeholds around the windpipe and the car artery. So it was very, very deadly. You can even see how in some poets it was actually, actually clear as a very violent art. So the thing is, if you ever see, if you ever want to look up uh, uh, information about Greece, type in Pancrasian. It'll go right there. So that is my style of analysis on um, Pancrasian, the Greek style of martial art. Very, very brutal, very effective art. And I'll hopefully do more videos about style of uh, analysis down the road. So this is Al McDowell asking you to be please sure to like, share, subscribe, and, and comment on this video. And this is me signing off.